Nokia has finally taken on the 8 megapixel camera phone market with a year delay. The N86 8 megapixel is the first cell phone to come equipped with variable aperture, features wide angle card size TESA optics, fourth generation double LED flash, and similarly to other smartphones of the manufacturer, runs Symbian S60. The phone strikes as a pretty compact device, but this doesn't apply to its weight. Despite the fact it's as heavy as the Nokia N97, it feels heftier in your hand. It has a 2.6 inch AMOLED screen with QVGA resolution that, just like most displays with the same technology, delivers well saturated and vivid colors in artificial light conditions. We are really pleased that it remains usable in direct sunlight, unlike the N85. Now, here are the navigational buttons that are rather thin, but still feel easy and comfy to press. The D-pad is also handy to use. Its slider mechanism is quite good and brings the keyboard out when pushed upwards. The latter also feels convenient and easy to use, unlike the multimedia buttons revealed when you pull the slider downwards. They are way too close to the edge, which makes them uncomfortable. On either side you'll find a slider to lock and unlock the phone keys, power on button, 3.5mm jack, micro USB port, stereo speakers, volume rocker and camera shutter. The camera module closely resembles the one on the N97 and its cover cleans the camera glass from larger dust particles. The Nokia N86 8 megapixel utilizes the Symbian S60 3rd edition feature pack 2 operating system that we know well and have already examined in details in previous reviews of cell phones by the manufacturer, so we are not going into details here. Nokia messaging is available when you get down to communicating with emails and in our opinion the app is much comfier than the standard Symbian client. It allows you to fast switch between email accounts, sort content by several different criteria and view letters in HTML. More information on Nokia messaging can be found in our text review of the Nokia E75. The camera features the same interface we know from previous models and offers options like taking panoramic pictures, scene settings, several color effects, three flash modes, timer and sequence shooting. You can also manually set ISO sensitivity, sharpness, white balance, exposure compensation and contrast. Snapshots are of average quality, well exposed and with properly represented colors, except for the mauve sky, but lack enough details alongside of better performing 8 megapixel devices. However, the Nokia N86 8 megapixel copes really well in artificial lighting conditions and pictures taken at night have colors represented in the right way. The double LED flash performs quite well and of all competing devices, it's only the C905 that comes equipped with a better one. The maximum video capture resolution is not too high, 640 by 480 pixels, but the end result is good. All captured content is browsed in the phone gallery that offers filtering by several criteria, similarly to both the N97 and the 5630 Express Music, by months, albums, tags, or all available files. When you choose an option, snapshots appear arranged in a circle that spins around when you switch between them. Naturally, the N86 features both a music player and an FM radio, but also comes with an FM transmitter. Unfortunately, it's rather weak and you have to place the phone really close to the antenna of the radio you're transmitting signals to. The N86 is a decent device in terms of music quality and delivers good sound through both earphones and the built-in loudspeakers. Aside from music, you will also be able to play videos. The maximum resolution cannot exceed 640 by 480 pixels, but this is enough for good image quality. We prefer real player to the additional one that comes preloaded, because the former delivers more saturated colors.
The Nokia N86 8 megapixel is a good smartphone that works relatively fast and trouble-free and also delivers above average in call quality. It is also a decent performing camera phone, although lags behind other models in terms of snapshots in good lighting conditions. This is why we think the delay the manufacturer has rolled it out with is not justified. Take a look at our full text review on phonearena.com where you can also find detailed information, test pictures and a video clip.